today let's uh, start with the lesson inheritance inheritance is one of the important concepts of the object oriented programming and let's try to understand what inheritance is right <coughs> inheritance has two things a base class and a derived class or we call it as a subclass okay now i take a small example of uh, inheritance which is a normal inheritance i have the class called father here right there's one more class called mother right now there is another class here which is son and daughter okay now this is a class this is a class here these two like this okay now the son and daughter <coughs> they inherit some characteristics from their father as well as their mother okay as of now i am not taking this i am just taking the class father right now that means the son is inheriting some characteristics from his father and daughter is also inheriting some characteristics from her father right so here if you look at this this father becomes the base class <coughs> and the son and daughter both are subclasses right same way if i put the class mother here in that case again the son and daughter will be inheriting from this class also right so there is a relationship here also like this okay so this class is again the base class and these are the sub classes right so this is a normal inheritance that we see the same inheritance has been the same concept of inheritance has been given in c++ wherein we will have a base class and a derived class or we also call it as a subclass okay now let's try to understand what is the use of this inheritance in a c++ code now first of all i'll write this the concept of inheritance in c++ allows us to derive new classes from the existing classes the new class is called the derived class and the class from which it is derived is called the base class
uh, now I'll write down this what is the advantage of inheritance now the most important advantage of inheritance is the reusability of the code fine so once we have written a base class and I have written some functions inside the base class that base class can be inherited by as many classes that we want so what happens is the functions which are written in the base class are available to the derived classes also fine so in the derived class you are not supposed to write the same thing again so if I inherit from a class which is uh, calculating the standard deviation of uh, some data right and I have written that um, function in the base class now I have a derived I have a, another class I make that class inherit from the class in which I have written the code for the the function for the standard deviation right so the derived class can use the functions of the base class right so here when we do inheritance the derived class can use the functions and data members of the base class as its own right so the methods written in the base class need not be written again and it saves time okay now let's look at the different types of inheritance first of all we have this single inheritance now in single inheritance there is one base class and one derived class right so it's going to be like this like here and here fine okay now this is your base class and this is the derived class So one class inheriting from another class that is your single inheritance. Now the next inheritance type of inheritance that we have is called multiple inheritance. Now in multiple inheritance a subclass inherits from multiple base classes that is more than one base class okay so how will it be like see here this is base 1 base class 1 base class 2 base class 3 and there is one subclass here fine so this is your base 1, this is base 2 and this is base 3 and this is the subclass. So all of them, uh, this subclass is inheriting from all the three classes 
so here there are three base classes so this subclass is inheriting the properties of base class 1 base class 2 and base class 3 so whatever you have written in base class 1 2 and 3 all will be available to the subclass okay now after this we have hierarchical inheritance in this many subclasses inherit from a single base class right so here the base class is only one here right and the subclasses this is subclass 1 subclass 2 subclass 3 subclass 4 like this right now all the subclasses are going to inherit from the same base class like this right so here this is my base class and all these are subclasses so this is the concept of hierarchical inheritance now the next type of inheritance is called a multi-level inheritance now in a multi-level inheritance uh, it will be something like this <coughs> this is a base class here now I am going to make it like this 1, 2, 3 and let's make one more fine ok now this is supposing I say base 1 right now this is derived 1 fine now what happens here is this derived class is inheriting from this base class okay now after this I'm going to write here <coughs> derived 2 now this derived 2 is inheriting from this derived 1 and I have one more class here which I call as derived 3 now this derived 3 is inheriting from this derived 2 okay so here let's try to understand this now for derived 1 <coughs> the base class is base 1 ok now let's come to this derived 2 derived 2 the base class is derived 1 and for derived 3 the base class is derived 2 ok now derived 2 this ok let's take up this derived 1 derived 1 is the base class for derived 2 whereas it is the subclass of base 1 ok see derived 1 is the subclass of base 1 one right so derived one is the subclass of base one and it is the base class of derived two so it is a subclass as well as a base class same way derived two is a subclass of derived one and it is the base class of derived three so this derived 3 if I if I take this derived 3 here the last one this is inheriting from derived 2 <coughs> derived 2 is inheriting from derived 1 and derived 1 is inheriting from base 1 so that finally what happens is derived 3 gets 
all the properties gets the properties of all the classes which are in this level okay so this is called a multi level inheritance so there are three levels in this right the last form of inheritance that we have is a hybrid inheritance hybrid inheritance is a combination of different type of inheritance now here supposing we make something like this one two right and then i have now here <coughs> supposing i have this these two are the base classes and this is the sub class so this uh, up till this level this is your multiple inheritance and here this is one base class and two sub classes okay so here the concept of hierarchical inheritance comes so in this there is a combination of two things that is multiple inheritance and hierarchical inheritance which we call as hybrid inheritance right so that was a basic introduction to what inheritance is and what are the different types of inheritance so with that i would like to end this uh, session on inheritance thank you